Chat GPT, you most probably have heard about it. I'm going to spare you the introduction of what it is, so this is just a screen recording of me playing around with it. This video is focused on topics I'm specialized in, such as Python programming, finance, automated trading, and also quantitative finance. So let's get started saying hi. Hello, how can I help you today? Let's start with a warm up here. Write me a script. Printing numbers from 1 to 10. Sure, here's a script that will print numbers from 1 to 10. So Python script here with a convenient copy paste option. And then it even tells you what this script is exactly doing. Pretty nice until now. Now let's make it a bit harder and say, write me a script pulling the price of Bitcoin. Let's see, to get the price of Bitcoin, you can use the CoinMarketCap API, a script that uses the request library. And then we're getting a script written here, pulling the crypt, not, not crypto, but pulling the Bitcoin price from the CoinMarketCap API, which is quite nice, right? But now let's do an even more interesting thing and ask the AI to change this to another API. So let's say, so as you see some explanation, just let me see what is happening. Thanks, but I need it for the Binance API. Sure, here's a script that used the Binance API. And now we see we're getting to the Binance API, which is insanely impressive, at least in my opinion. So it is remembering what you ask her, so the AI or him, whatsoever, uh, and then is amending the code, right? And this, at least in the first place, looks quite right here. Now let's make it even more harder and say, write me a script backtesting a golden crossover strategy on the Apple stock over the last three years. <laughs> Let's see. Sure, here's a script that backtests a golden crossover strategy on the Apple stock using the pandas and TA libraries. Okay. Okay, shout outs to uh, Khaled uh, Badri. It's taking <laughs> obviously your uh, data here. And then it's calculating the fast and slow uh, moving average here. Looks right. Signals. Return calculation. Return times the signal shifted. Yeah, this is okay. So this is something which is not 100% correct because the returns are non log returns, right? It's just PCT change. So you cannot sum them up that is not 100 percent wouldn't make a very big difference but i'm just saying this is not 100 percent right here so if these were log returns that would be possible but currently this is not 100 percent right uh, as shown here so we see that the ai is not 100 percent perfect yet but these are just some small things. On the other hand, we have a full script here uh, constructing a strategy for us. So that is insanely impressive here, right? Okay, so let's move on to, yeah, let's take some usual risk measure in quantitative finance, which, which is uh, the value at risk. So let's, first of all, what is the value at risk? So let's ask some non-coding question. Where it is the measure of risk of loss for a portfolio of financial assets it is used to quantify the amount of loss that a portfolio might occur with a given level of confidence. Uh, 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 yeah. So quite a decent, decent explanation. Um, but I'm missing some some more sentences here to make a clear picture of the value at risk. But anyhow, let's see how the code looks like. Can you 
show me how the well let's take another name now let's see if if it can uh, do the bridge here between value address and var can you show me how the var is calculated uh, for a portfolio of assets let's see yeah, okay it's showing you step by step how to do it but i didn't tell it or him or her or whatsoever to uh, write me a script so this is why uh, why it's just giving you a step by step a plan here right so let's just say could you please write me a script to calculate it <laughs> it's okay it's okay Wow, it is, it is telling you all uh, types here. Historical simulation, Covariance, or Ryan's Covariance approach. Uh, Monte, Monte Carlo is missing, but anyhow. Could you please write me a script to calculate it? Let's see. Calculates the value at risk for portfolio of assets using a historical simulation. Okay, but I also want, could you show me the calculation for the Ryan's Covariance approach, but you already see this is impressive, right? I mean, you are getting a script calculating the historical var, and you are even getting explanations on what exactly is going on here. So let's finally check the variance covariance approach here. Calculates the value just for using covariance. Load the assets. So returns we have here. <laughs> Come on, why so, why so many? <laughs> okay, let mean and Ryan's covariance metrics for the returns. Yes, mean covariance metrics. Then portfolio weights. Then the dot products. Standard deviation, confidence level, and then, yeah. So that's it. So in summary, insanely impressive and interesting, at least in my opinion, but here and there are some mistakes. So now I'm really interested. What are your thoughts? Also, let me know if you want to have more content on ChatGPT, if you build something with it. And finally, I can only say thank you very much for watching and I'm looking forward to seeing the upcoming videos. Bye bye.